Make sure to send you the end. You overheat it even one time in some cases. You may destroy completely your engine and it will cost you thousands of dollars to fix. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having Dodge Challenger. If it's overheating guys, we'll explain what you need to check first. Because if you keep overheating your car or even if you overheat it one single time guys and you overheat it the right way, you may say bye bye to your engine. You will need the engine replaced or rebuilt and that can cost you thousands of dollars. So make sure to stay until the end. We will share very helpful information that can save you quite a bit of money guys. So before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, guys, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. Oh, and in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Uh, if you need to buy any parts, tools for your Dodge Challenger or any car, you want to save quite a bit of money, get them at a really good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So let's start on it now. So what we have here specifically 2018 Dodge Challenger and that we will be working on guys. So let's explain about that now. Even if you have a V6, V8, it will be about the same. Now a few things to consider. Okay, a few things that you need to consider. Overheating guys can be caused by multiple things. Okay, uh, we will have a special video why Dodge Challenger overheat. I will recommend okay to check it out it will talk about every possible scenario but we'll talk about common things here and something that most people even don't even think about checking number one thermostat check your thermostat you can test it we'll have a video how to test thermostat number two failing water pump number three being low on coolant that's quite helpful okay check your coolant level only when it's cold because otherwise it can severely severely burn next you guys want to check, make sure engine light is not on. That can lead you in the right way to find out what's wrong with it as well. After that, radiator fan. Now that's where things get interesting. That radiator fan, many things can cause the fan not to work. But if your dot challenger is overheating, you need to check fuse for the radiator fan, right there. Relays for radiator fan, you have some hidden as well. If you want to see where the fuse and relay for the radiator fans are located, check out our second YouTube channel, Electrical Car Repair Live. Next, you can test the radiator fan motor. If you want to see how to do that, again, video, we have a video about that too. It's pr pretty simple. But you have one hidden device, guys, that's integrated in the radiator fan, and it's known as a radiator fan resistor this is very important for the normal operation of the radiator fan and if that resistor fails your car can uh, can actually guys uh, overheat easily because that one is practically responsible for when turning the fan on and off to uh, uh, the speeds and all that stuff so that radiator fan resistor is super important guys so you need to uh, check this one we have a special video that explains how to replace radiator fan resistor on dot challenger it's located right here behind that connector in that hole there and it connects directly to the fan motor as well uh, another thing uh, just inspect guys the serpentine belt make sure it's installed because the water pump is driven by the belt and if all of a sudden it started overheating, okay, that could be the reason. Also, your alternator will not work. AC will not work if the belt falls off. So uh, that will need to be taken in consideration. Always check for leaks and make sure you're not low on coolant. Something else, uh, that's where people make common mistake when they take things apart, replace thermostats, water pumps, anything that require draining the coolant like radiator they do not bleed their cooling system the correct way if you don't bleed the cooling system on dot challenger that will guys okay destroy the engine because you will end up with an air pocket and if even though everything functions correctly coolant will not be able to flow from the uh, radiator uh, from the radiator to the engine back and forth and that can cause easily to overheat the engine as well so check those things if your dot challenger is overheating we'll have a very detailed video why dot challenger overheats but this is just a quick video now when it's hot so any of you guys having a problem can start working on it and never postpone it because that can destroy your dodge challenger another thing if you want to see any specific videos about a dodge challenger you have problems uh, leave a comment below that way 
will will be able to help you guys when we have time we'll try to make the video help you and help other people as well that's a win-win situation uh so we can build a community where we help each other we save money we save time because you know time is equal um equals money so hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time